And after a long time away, we are back with another Socratic Games podcast. Yeah. Fish was uh, away on pilgrimage and could not could not join for the four weeks. But we're back better than ever. Yes. So listen, enjoy, and um, we don't do the support. We don't, we don't name things no, anymore because we have commercials. So yeah. uh, I guess what we're going to do is um, say our favorite thing. What was your favorite thing from the podcast, Vish? We've done that before. But Apex Legends. Apex Legends, I like that. I'm going to say... <laughs> huh. Battle Angel. A review of Battle Angel. The, what, two minute of it? The two minute review. I'd sure. say that was, that was my favorite part of the podcast. All right. So... Okay. Uh, yeah, enjoy, listen, and uh, if you haven't seen Battle Angel 8, you should definitely go check it out. No. Especially in IMAX. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. One. Boom, and we're back with another episode of Crowd Gamers. It's been a while. I'm pretty excited about this one, because uh, Vish was away in India for his uh, yearly pilgrimage <laughs> okay. to the temples, in which he uh, venerates each of the gods and thanks them okay. for... Oh another year of prosperity right sure love joy and acceptance okay so this is your weekly roundup i know it's been a while mm-hmm. i hope you've uh been watching our other ones catching up or maybe even the walkthroughs who knows uh, yeah. so in this episode we talk about four different things that we thought were cool from the week but this is actually going to span four weeks because the vish has been away so first on the docket, we're going to talk about Vish's trip. Okay, so how is India? How are um, the temples? I guess, that's, did, I mean, the same. I think the thing that they're all wondering, though, is did you find the Shiva statue? <laughs> no. You did not find the Shiva statue. Okay, why did you not find the Shiva statue? Like, like, Cause, br- br- so br- there, break okay. it down, though. Yeah, yeah, so there yeah. are, they are there, but it's okay. like made up of different, like, I didn't find them solid kind of things, like material-wise. Okay. And... I, I just felt like uh, I want to like it. What well, didn't look cool? Right, right. My 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 main question is like, how come they don't place a lot of emphasis on Shiva? I was like Google. It depends on uh, the region, right? Yeah. But there's only one Shiva statue that I saw, like a giant Shiva statue. Yeah, yeah. You have like to go. Area. Yeah, you have to go around that area to get those. But like, why? Like, wh- how is it because he's like the destroyer god? <laughs> uh, I'm not the best one to answer this, but I don't know. Uh, Ganesha is the most prominent one because he's always the the obstacle breaker and yeah stuff. Like exactly everybody and people have mm-hmm. that like as you know and uh in there you know how they have in cars okay yeah yeah okay in the, you have one right yeah you have a little statue a little yeah. ganesh statue yeah all my parents yeah but what is what like why would you put in the car i don't understand remover of obstacles but so you also oh, no traffic so they're praying not for no necessarily traffic. no because no. <laughs> india there's a lot of traffic so like hey it's not traffic let today it's be a, the good day so nothing so you don't you know get in an accident and things like that oh okay but wouldn't the destroyer god be better so anyone that comes into your vicinity would just like vanish no that's <laughs> you know what i mean like no it doesn't mean that all right fine because you could get in that accident but see like i feel like ganesh is so stereo typical or standard as like a, a hindu deity that everyone yeah because the simpsons oh yeah that's true as the simpsons yeah you're <laughs> right you're right oh that's so funny dude i you know how 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 sad is that 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 just changed culture like everyone's like oh do you like i've heard of hinduism yeah the ganesh guy right because of the simpsons mm-hmm. that that's why i want to get like um well this is like merging into our later on topic but i want to get uh, the shiva tattoo instead of the Ganesh one, because like I feel like uh, I like Shiva because destroyer death. Yeah, I think death's super important to like focus your mind on. But like I feel like people who get like standard yoga tattoos or like Ganesh or like the Om symbol. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those are the standard popular ones to get. Yeah. Anyway, so what else is uh, what else is cool about India? Is it super hot there? Oh yeah, it was. Like, when I left, I think it was, like, that day or a couple of days before, it was, like, minus 30, something like that. Like, feels oh, like yeah, minus that was 30 crazy. here. crazy, yeah, so yeah, So, it's yeah. over there, it was, like, plus 30. Did you have, uh, did you have jet lag? Uh, yeah, the first couple of days. Okay, and how did you, how did you switch? I know that you came, you didn't, you went back to work. 
right away. Oh, I mean coming back. No, no, I mean there. Because like, uh, that, that's the only bad part about traveling so far, right? The it's because I slept, actually, like on the plane, which is funny. There's like not a lot of people coming on British Airways from okay. here to London. Okay. So like I had the full, like three seats as a bed. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Nice. And so you just so like... I guess I, I just slept for most of my trip. So then once you got to India, you were like, oh, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But what about coming back? Coming back, because I guess it's... I don't know. I got... I would, it, You're it, it affa- Yeah, it affects Really, me. yeah? Oh, damn. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, did you actually visit any temples? I was just trolling you. Uh, well, yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. And you were saying, like, um, that Christianity... Catholicism is there. Uh, yeah. Like I, really, I mean, all, a lot of the, all the all the religions are there. I think. Well, all right. So, what would you say is very um, like myth bustering? Not really myth bustering, but like delusion breaking about India. You know, like people like look at India as like um, <laughs> it's like mystical land. Okay. You know, like... Sure. I still have yet to go. I, I'd like to go. <laughs> okay. But, like, you know, everyone's like, oh, it's like, India is like mm-hmm. this holy land of blah, blah, blah. Is it really like that, or is it just, like, assumption? Uh, like, like, I don't like, know like, what they good, good example, good example. When I went to Japan, mm-hmm. sushi was not as prevalent as much as curry rice. Okay. So it's like, when I went, I was like, where the hell is the guy named sushi? <laughs> I thought it would be, like, everywhere, right? But there's more sushi in, like, Hong Kong than there was in Japan. Because okay. it's more like, not to say that there isn't sushi in Japan, but it's just more like, it's more upscale. Mm-hmm. You know, like over here, we're like, oh, you want to go to All You Can Eat Sushi? Oh yeah, there's sushi giant right around the corner. Right. You know what I mean? But like over there, it's more like curry, pork curry cutlets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what's uh, what's a good example for you for that? Oh, all right. I don't know. I guess I've been there many times. So I... Baby, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got used to it, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're, we're going to cut the podcast right here because Baby wants a little bit of love. We're going to pull her over. One second. And we are back. I've caught the dog, giving her a little bit of love. She's. Uh, if you're new to this podcast, you'll know that you won't know that we have a, a dog that's very needy and needs lots of love. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So when we do these podcasts, she, she wants to be a part of it. Anyways, so what's a, what's a um, myth-bustering like, assumption? I don't know. Give me an example. Okay. Uh, do are there a lot of holy people walking around? Uh, near temples, yeah, I guess so. Near temples is uh, is everyone super nice and giving? Uh, depends. Do they do they all have malas? <laughs> no. Uh, do they all practice yoga? No. Do, um, not all. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> it's not something I asked. <laughs> uh, is that's all I really got? Are, are uh, there are there are there deity statues everywhere? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's one major thing. Is uh, hmm. Do. Yeah. Do they all wear saris? Uh, I mean, yeah. Not, I mean... To work? Uh, no. I mean, it's a mix. It's a mix of both. Do, do they bow their hands and, uh, <laughs> like, greet you? Like, with some sort of... Like, so in, in Thailand, they're like, no, Saudika. They, what? They, like, bow at you and they're like, Saudika in, uh, in Thailand. Is it something like that there or no? I don't think so. No? All right. I mean, that's a normal namaste thing. Oh, they say namaste? Uh, I, I guess as a general greeting, but it's not like, you don't say that to strangers off the street like that. Okay. Okay, so I think we've, uh, we've established that India is not as holy as Thailand, because uh, Thailand, there's actually quite a few monks walking around, and they all bow and uh, do prayer hands at you. Okay. In Saudi Cup. All right. I don't, know where going. Oh, cool. uh, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one. I was just curious to see I if, like, the assumptions... I think it depends where you go. There are, there are areas that are more religious, I guess. Okay, but, but on the whole, you would say it's not as, like, religiously inclined? Uh, I mean, I don't know. 
keep, people keep to their homes if they're religious. They don't generally talk about it. Okay, so it's not like a overtly in your face religious area. No. Oh. I don't think so. Okay. Well. Yeah. I mean, I'm always only there for like a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't really notice. But you've been there like quite a few times. Yeah, quite a few times, but you live there too. This is when I was very young, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, all right. Most memorable thing from the trip, go. What? Oh. Uh, Goa. Goa? You like Goa? Yeah. Oh, another thing was all the pollution. <laughs> Not oh, memorable. You came, you came back and you were like coughing. Yeah, it's pretty intense. It's the pollution that I. Is it as bad as like. they say, like in China, where you have to put the mask on your face? I think they should put masks on. Their really? Face. <laughs> oh, is that bad? Oh, in uh, some okay, areas, true. yeah. I was watching something. New Delhi has like, it's like a pack of cigarettes that you're sp breathing in the air. Mm -hmm. That's how much pollution is in there. Wow, that's super intense. So they're like, yeah, it's, they're saying it's hard to find people with pink lungs or whatever no really yeah but that's why i hear about the city too like if you live in Toronto i guess it's stuff, in the city like, yeah maybe it's all the the car and stuff. but here is not that bad not that bad true yeah not even close well not even close but still the pollution is pretty intense yeah yeah oh huh. interesting yeah all right but in goa is good though because it's right by the water oh yeah so it just clears out the air all right so do you find that you like city life better or because i remember like when when i went to the philippines and then like the city is not as enjoyable for me as like the countryside yeah well it's not clean right but like even just the, the energy like the, the vibe of the people are more chill you know? yeah, 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 yeah you know what i mean like oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah you say the same thing it's okay yeah, it's you, you've been to in uh, Philippines as well, so like, would you say it's it's something similar? Like, yeah, remember we were I would in like Kalibo and stuff, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, oh, interesting. So it's like it won't be like a mind blow, because like I've heard so many people like, oh, when you go to India, it's just super intense. Your mind gets open. I'm like, yeah, but that's probably from just like a Western influence, because like if you've been to any other place in Asia, you'd be like, oh, this is pretty intense. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know. I've never been to India, but you've been to India and Philippines now, so it's mm -hmm. like. Would you say they're similar? Uh, yeah, like, I would say that. Okay, so if I go to India, I'm not gonna have my mind blown. Uh, it depends, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, is death rampant on the streets? I heard from this one person that lived in India that like, um, that they, the bus hit a person, and okay. they just moved the body on the side, and they just kept going. Because uh, they were like an untouchable or something, like a low caste. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see anything like that. Oh, okay. So I think uh, I think there's a lot of misconception. It, I don't know. I, I I don't know. It depends where you are. I don't know how the big big cities are like. You, so you think that that's that's very common that people just get hit and just move the body and just keep going? I mean, you got to move on with your life, bro. Right? Yeah, that's true. I don't know, man. True. <laughs> have, have you seen the rivers Ganges? No, I I don't think I've been there. No. Oh, maybe we should go there, yeah. I don't want to go there. No, it's bad. The water's dirty. I know, right? I heard that. I yeah, it's a super dirty way. pollution. Yeah, no, no, like you I would, would never. Uh, it, yeah, it's. Uh, I would rather go where the water starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From the mountains. <laughs> Himalayas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it's a little better. Somebody from work's in Tibet right now, and I was like looking at her photos, like, oh man, oh Tibet. That's where I'd want to go. One of those places, Tibet. I don't no? know. You wouldn't want to go. No. No, it's like a, I heard it's a tourist town, like in in Kathmandu. Yeah, but it's the thing with the uh, you know the thing with uh, going there is I gotta always have like it's like the drinking water. Like, yeah, that's that's the one thing that I. That's true. Gotta be careful about. But see, like, like I was saying to Tara that like traveling, it's almost like um, I <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like looking at peering into my own psychology, but I mm -hmm. like to I like to like uh, jump off into the deep end to understand something fully and then like hence why i'm like keep getting covered with tattoos now right it's like jumping into the deep end I'm like what is this thing really you okay. know and then like um after traveling for those five months like when you're saying about the water and stuff yeah. like it's funny how it becomes a repetitive process like mm -hmm. everyone's like oh yeah i want to travel and stuff but if you actually break down what travel is you just land at an airport you have no idea where you're going how to speak the language how to get some water but then the solutions always come the same. It's like, okay, I just have to, all right, where's the taxi? Okay, where's the closest Wi-Fi where I can get the, 
you know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's like you kind of follow this repetitive pattern that like if you do traveling um, intermittently, like it's like it'd be like, all right, I'll travel every three years. Right, but then when you do it in such rapid succession, you're kind of like, oh, I get what's going on here. Like, right. it's the same pattern, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I gotta visit the grocery store to get like lots of water, mm-hmm. you know. That's yep. just another illusion dispelled. Yeah, that's why I want to check out India. Well, but, I mean, yeah, you can get. I didn't get any water bottles, so I was heating up the water. Oh, well, you drink. use hot water. Oh, yeah, well, that's pretty smart. That's probably why they drink tea there, right? I mean, <laughs> like they boil the water. What do you mean? Britain drinks so. tea too. I would say you think they just like the taste of tea. Do people drink water there? Or are they like hy- hydrated really well? Yeah. I really? Agree. People drink a lot of water. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I think I just gotta go. Like destroy all these like these assumptions of what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. But it's always different, right? Cities are always gonna be packed with people. Then. True. Like that's the thing you'll see. You'll see population. All right, you're hearing it right now, folks. We're going to plan an India trip. Uh, okay. Not right now, but one day we're gone, sure. and that'll be another, another vlog video. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any final thoughts of uh, your trip? Yeah, I mean, I liked it. All right, cool. Met cool. some people, so. Nice. Yeah. All right, speaking of, uh, speaking of religiousness... I read um, so this. I, I was telling I was telling you uh, earlier that uh, Gnostic Gnostic Christianity Gnostic Gospels Gnosticism means knowledge, mm-hmm. right? So this is how it ties in because I was like, okay, well, mine's gonna tie into yours. So India is the place where so there's this guy doubting Tom. So when Jesus dies, okay, this is the whole like backstory of Gnosticism. When Jesus dies uh, and he comes back to life. Thomas, one of his disciples, is like, I don't believe you're really Jesus. So Jesus is like, feel the holes in my hands. So that's where doubting Tom, like, you know, like the line, mm-hmm. like, you're doubting Tom. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's from that, because he's like the doubting Thomas. And then Jesus was like, I want you to understand more about the world or life. So go to India and learn. Because in the lost years of Jesus, allegedly, he went to India to learn some of their, their stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what like, Christianity helped build upon. Okay. Like the philosophies of like Christianity. Right. Yeah. Um, Hinduism, I mean, influenced Christianity. <clears throat> and yeah. uh, so what I found really interesting is from Gnosticism comes from the Gospels of Truth, which is the Gospels written by Tom, Thomas. And they don't really publish, publicize this one because they see Christianity as an allegory. Okay fascinating right because it's like when so they break it down like god didn't actually jesus didn't actually resurrect but the lessons lived on through them Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and like um heaven isn't actually a physical place yeah it's like it's it's this world but it's your perspective of the world Mm -hmm. which sounds a lot like like Indian, uh, Indian, Hindu. <laughs> I, I put the two words together. Indian, uh, Hindu, Indian, uh, yoga philosophy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like yeah. Buddhist philosophy too, mm-hmm. which I found pretty interesting because then it's like, it's like, okay, these are the real truths. Because mm-hmm. I wholeheartedly agree with this. Like, w- like, you can never prove that there is going to be an afterlife. It may or may not be true. Right. But we do know that we have this life right now. Mm-hmm. So then, why would you promise something uh, of like an afterlife, right? And they bring mm-hmm. it up in the Gnostic Gospels, control mechanisms. That's why they're banned. The Gnostic the Gnostic Gospels are banned because they say that like Christianity turned into this thing where a bishop would be like, "Oh, I'm ruling yeah. Earth now. I am God." So now mm-hmm. instead of us having a direct relationship with God, we have to go through the bishop. So yeah. it goes us, bishop, God. And then okay. God will tell us, tell the bishop or the pope now, what what's up, you know? Mm-hmm. And like in that way, you can control an entire system because it's like, like, yeah. you know, like, yeah. do, do as I say because God's speaking directly to me, you mm-hmm. know? And then if you look more into like how Christianity came about, it was from like, it was for poor people. Like, yeah. not not to be, like, super negative, but, like, they had, like, they had it really hard in life, mm-hmm. you know? 
and like Jesus came about, he was a layman as well. He was a carpenter. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, hey, guys, like, your life doesn't have to suck as much as you think it's sucking right now. Mm-hmm. Right? But, but in the Gnostic Gospels, it's like, yeah, just change your perspective on life. Whereas in the Christian Gospels, it's like, because God is going yeah. to grant you a gift when you die. Mm-hmm. I just thought that was kind of fascinating. Whereas like, in comparison to like Hinduism, there's no control mechanism, right? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no control mechanism for Buddhism either. No. And yet they're looking at the same thing according to, nice kill, uh, according to um, the Gnostic Gospels. Yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. I just thought that was kind of cool. And, and like the tree of knowledge is the snake, right? Like you, you come to realize, as like Carl Jung said, like um, when you realize that you have a mind, then you have to like, under, like you, you realize life and death is yeah. a thing, so you eat from the tree of knowledge, but then you have to become super knowledgeable in order to realize that this whole interplay. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like the snake was the good guy, and he was the impetus for us not being under a jealous master. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what the tree of knowledge, right? They, yeah. He led him to the tree of knowledge. It's why why exactly. is knowledge bad? Exactly. Because... Yeah, yeah. That, but that's what they're saying in in these like Gnostic texts. Right. Like he was he was trying to gift us something, you know. Mm-hmm. But but the it was is negative because when you realize you're going to die, you freak out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like our dog Athena doesn't know she's going to die, so she she hasn't eaten from the tree of knowledge. Mm-hmm. But then when she does eat from the tree of knowledge, she's gonna be like, oh my god, I'm going to die. But then you have to become more knowledgeable and be like, hey, it's okay, though. Like, right. You know, enjoy your experience. Yeah. We're all a part of one singular thing. Mm-hmm. Like, energy can't be created or destroyed. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. yeah. I just found that fascinating because, like, after reading the Gnostic Gospels, I'm like, but what I find interesting now is most people, when they decode the Bible, because, like, so, like, I'll be like, all right, do you think that's really true? And they're like, no, it's an allegory for, like, Blah blah blah, and they'll try and like explain away how come the 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 Bible is still relevant. But then it's like, yeah, you're just explain the thing, the logic you're using to explain this is Gnosticism. Mm-hmm. But that's banned because they don't want you to realize that there is no intermediate intermediary between you and God. There's no need for a bishop. Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So. Yeah. So people inadvertently are becoming <clears throat> Gnostics, mm-hmm. which is against Christianity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's like it's like through their study, they're like, wait, no, this actually makes more sense if we use it as an allegory. But then it's like, yeah, but that was Gnosticism, which was outlawed because the Romans wanted to control people by keeping bishops and like popes in place. Yeah. To give out their their indoctrination Mm -hmm. you know in the ninja book that i read they were saying um money and religion go hand in hand yeah because you can control people and as i was saying before too which i found really fascinating it's like the best way to control someone is to be like hey this person loves you and they're gonna want to give you all these gifts when you die some people are like oh I, I really want those gifts. And then when we're like, no, that makes no sense, bro. you got to think about it like this. And they're like, oh, you're, you're infringing on my beliefs, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, so it's the perfect, like, feedback loop. Yeah. You know, like, I can never tell you you're wrong because then I'm infringing on your beliefs. Mm-hmm. So you're, you're fighting the own, your own battle of hypnotism in your own head for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's kind of like... Yeah. And spiraling mm-hmm. in on itself like it's the perfect mind control weapon that sounds yeah. really conspiratorial <laughs> but if you actually look at like anthropo- anthropologically how people how humans operate like this is like basic yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like you have like a herd of people how are you gonna how are you gonna herd them like you have a mass of people how are you gonna herd them mm-hmm. either through money material gain or spiritual gain you know yeah and, sure. and I think the only way you can have a free wow, this is super, super dark web like <laughs> conspiratorial right now. But the only way you can have a free society is to realize that these are just like illusions we're creating for ourselves. So choose 
wisely what illusion you want to believe in because ultimately life is a story we tell ourselves Mm -hmm. yeah i like how you're just straight up straight up agreeing with me here so that's how i know i'm not crazy (laughs) like or maybe we're both crazy who knows (laughs) maybe you know all right so speaking of something that's not crazy, let's let's venture into the more chill zone. Yeah, of, let's go. <laughs> uh, Apex Legends. I just went down a deep rabbit hole in my mind there. My bad. I didn't expect to exp- like tie those pieces together. Break it down like that. Yeah, it's been on my mind for a while. Four weeks without you, and I've just been reading nonstop textbooks. Oh, okay. I'm just like, oh my god, this is this is making a lot of sense right now. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Apex Legends. Go. So this came up when I was in India. At the time, so I had internet access at least over there. You couldn't play it there, right? No, no, no. Yeah, I couldn't play it there, but I was watching as much videos as I could. Mm-hmm. And so, do you think it's the? Oh, yeah, you're gonna say? Uh, no. I mean, what, what were you gonna say? Just, just... Do, uh, do you think it's the um, Fortnite killer, like you told me? Yes. I know. I have to admit too, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I played it too when you came back. We were mm-hmm. playing together. And, uh, I was excited to play it as soon as I came back. I think the night that I came back here, I played it, like in one or two games. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't remember. I think I went to bed. Oh, you probably went to bed. Well, I, I played it, and then I went to bed after because I was tired. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's like Call of Duty meets Fortnite. It's made by the people that made Titanfall. Yeah. So it's got a really good smooth running. and. That's what I found out. You know what I really like about these games? That it's like you're... You're giving it away for free. Yeah, this is free is, game. Yeah. All right, so how do they make their money? There's no advertising. Nope. Can you buy upgrades? Uh, you're not buying upgrades. You're buying uh, cosmetics. Okay, so that's how they make their money. That's it's, how you make money. It's just like uh, Pokemon Go. Uh-huh. Like, if you don't want to get the coins, you could just buy coins. Yep. You know, but there's a free way to... It, I, I, think I like this model better. Of, I, I hope more games in the future go well, this Well, I, I think, so what happened was, because of Fortnite's huge success, mm-hmm. because it was a free game, mm-hmm. uh, that, and it was leading in, you know, like on Twitch and everything, mm-hmm. so, there, the only way to compete with them was also to make a game that is also free. Right, right, right. but there's not crowd, cross-platform. So, yeah, they don't have, yeah, but Fortnite's been out here for a year now, right? True. Okay. So true. this is so wh- the way they did this is I like the way they they just uh, they were working on this. No one knew about it, right? Uh, and then respawn as the, that's one who made this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they had the day of announcing it, mm-hmm. and they released it the same day. Oh so, no way! So it was like that's sick. That's just like they're copying the freaking uh, people who drop albums now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that way you don't, you know, you don't have competition can get ready. Yeah. They didn't expect this. Oh, that's so, so good. Fortnite wasn't ready for this, and I had some things like within eight hours they had a million players. Wow. Right. Within okay. seventy-two hours, uh, they had ten million players. Wow. Uh, like uh, yeah, different That's players. Impressive. But I think consecutively it was like an, a million, million or two. Probably now but about two million. See the graphics in this game are super sick. Mm-hmm. The it's not as kitty. I like the first person as opposed to the third person. Yeah, um, a bit more serious. It's a bit yeah. It's more serious. There's no jump to your death, which I like as well. Yeah. Um, revive is really good. Oh, so those so those yeah. are the, yeah. So those are the things that made it different because. You gotta always try to evolve, like evolve the battle royale world, right? Wait, quick pause. You, you know what I really enjoy about the way, not only this podcast, but like, because essentially we've been doing this podcast before even podcasting, because we'd like go on walks and we talk about this stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I really like how we just went from a super intense, like deconstruction of societal beliefs into a more superficial like this is video games right yeah you know i think people need to experience the the duality of both mm-hmm. you know like it's like yeah do you think too much in one way you're gonna go crazy bro anyways jump back in uh yeah so the main the way to make this way they made the battle royale different was well they got the normal revive thing that okay. they all have uh but then what you also have is even when you do die you can pick up their player card or something and uh-huh. then go to a place, I forgot, like a revive spot. 
Uh-huh. So that area sometimes get is a little bit more like uh, heavy in uh, opponents. Yeah, and there's like rare place like they're not everywhere to okay, find true. those uh, like whatever whatever it's called like to revive the guy to make him come back into the game. So that was something that was way different. Okay. Right than any other battle royale. Once you die, you're dead. Yeah, I know that was, and then that was whole, super annoying until your last squad. So what could happen is so. And they only released with, uh, you have to play as three players. Okay. Uh, maximum of 60 squads, I think. Or uh-huh. 60 people. Uh-huh. And whatever the number of squads that is. And divide that by whatever. Uh, and then... Um, so 10 teams. Oh, 20 teams. Yeah, 20 squads. That's cool. And then, so potentially, see our team, we could die. Two of us could die. He can pick up both our player cards and then oh. potentially re- revive both of us to come back into the game. Right, right. In the right. last minute. Oh, that's pretty cool. But the thing is, you know, it, it it is it would be unfair, let's say, to everybody if you just come back with full health and everything. So you do have to find health, oh, so pick up when, some guns again. Okay, so when you respawn, so, you have like limited health. Yeah. So what you'd want is your player to help, you know, drop off some loot that you that he's picked up, so you can use like, okay, things cool. like that that could potentially help you. That's pretty sick. So, like, those things made it totally different than any other Battle Royale, mm. which made... And then, oh, right, so as he just... If you're watching this, you guys have seen that. He... You, they designed the game, so mm. they played the game, the respawn, when they made it, to do it in a way where you don't have to communicate at all. So, okay, how, wait, how so, does that work? But, but communicate in words, I mean. A lot okay, of times yeah, you yeah. do need, like, someone else to have a mic. Right, 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 right. And then mark off, oh, someone's in this direction, whatever. Right. So right. on here, you can just double tap with your R1, for PS4 at least, and then just mark where they are. And it'll tell everybody oh. on your team that they're can there. Can you show me right now? Right How's there. it work? Right oh, there. that's sick. So is it like a notification and then people are like, oh. Yeah, they hey, see that a as a red mark. Red mark means... Uh, um, Enemy? Enemy. Uh-huh. And then if you just press it like that, that means some, just a marker that I want to go there. Right, right. Do they have shields? Yep. You pick up everything. Shield. Um, no, regeneration shields like Halo? Yeah, you can... Well, you have to pick those things up to rebuild oh, okay, those okay. shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, I still got full shield, so it's no use. So, But it's not like Halo, then. It's not like auto-regenerate. See, I just hit his armor. Right, uh, right, right. No, it doesn't auto-regenerate, but uh-huh. that, I think that would be a little too... Cheap. Powerful. Oh, powerful. Yeah, yeah true, true. I think that's really sick, though. And you're saying, um, not you were saying, but like one of the features in this game is mm-hmm. that you have uh, different characters you can choose from with different yep. statistics. Oh. Yeah. So how, how does that? So absorb? each it's kind of like a mix of Overwatch. I've never so played Overwatch. Every player has got a certain ability. Okay. Um, uh, that you could use in the game. Okay. As a so you would try to potentially, you know, get better at one character. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, so for instance, I think mine is you, you can build portals for mine. So you can easily jump out of a action area. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the character I'm playing right now. Then there's Bangalore. That's another character that just drops uh, missiles. Oh, Bangalore. India? <laughs> that was a funny thing, yeah. When I was I was there when this game got released, I was like, "Oh, this character's name is the same place where I'm at right now." Oh no way! Oh, okay. Oh, that's how I heard it because you you told me. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I was like, "Oh, Bangalore." Hmm, I heard that before. <laughs> that's cool. So yeah, I mean, I who's think your who's it's... your favorite character to play right now? Uh, uh Bangalore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Is is that is that because you like? the place so like you know what i mean like no just because the it characters was uh, actually like no right, so, i was so, so i i the got philosophical intru- question becomes do you pick the character because you like the way the character is and looks or do you pick the character at a utility so is it more hedonic or utilitarian no i pick because of the name it, i know that's funny because when when we were like choosing characters i was like oh this guy looks pretty sick you know <laughs> yeah. what i mean like i had no idea. and then you're like oh yeah he's got a shield i'm like yeah whatever like, <laughs> doesn't matter right right not very utilitarian in our choices. No. Yeah. yeah. Do you find that though? Do you, do you ever pick utilitarian characters? Uh yeah. Yeah, I think it's just because I 
because of the name, it just made the it different. Towards it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Or else, uh, I think I would be picking this character. I like the portal system. Mm. That it just works out. Like we this, played. Who's this, Bangalore? No. Oh. I'm not playing as that. So you can't both pick the same characters. You got to always pick the different, something. I think that's pretty cool. Because it's like, then if you all have portals, then it becomes like unfair. Oh, like yeah. it's like weighted too heavily. Mm -hmm. Well, what are some of the options for the character powers? Uh, what are some of the options they have? Yeah, like, is there anything, like, super cool that you're like, oh, I like this one? Like, heat I don't, heat haven't played... Uh, or... mm, no, I haven't played every one yet. Oh, okay. So, like the Bangalore one I told you about the missile hit? Uh, no. Well, I don't know. Like, her thing is, like, uh, like drop bombs. Oh, that's cool. A, like a, yeah, like a, I don't know what they call that, like. A uh, UAV raid? Yeah, something like that. And then there's, uh, this one was portals, as I was saying. The Wraith is portals. Some other ones have healing abilities. Okay. Uh, shield for Gibraltar, the one that you picked. Mm -hmm. He looks and like a samurai. I don't know Bloodhound. I've never played him yet. And then there's two other guys that try, I want to unlock. This one mm -hmm. is uh, creating um, decoys. Oh, that's cool. Like little clone jutsus. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like the... Yeah, like Naruto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he will... And then he'll like... Oh, has it worked as they like pop out of your body and runs and then people are like, oh, mm -hmm. catch that guy. Uh, I don't I don't know if they run. I haven't played them. Hmm. But it's more like to... It's a decor, so they're like... They think it's a person that's standing there or something. That's pretty cool. So... But you're like kind of... How long did it take this game to, to create? Did they release any like info about it? No, nothing about it before I don't think so people probably thought they were working on, on the next Titanfall mm -hmm. but uh, nobody expected this I don't think nice. anyone expected this yeah. that's really cool I, I like it a lot and yeah right now they're they've beat out Twitch uh, I mean they beat out Fortnite on Twitch on Twitch oh wow to be like the number one spot that's fascinating yeah so are you just going to stop playing all the other games now <laughs> because this game came out? Yeah, I mean, I want to... Like our little obsessions keep changing. Of I course, just got yeah, the, I mean, that, that's what happens with any new game, though, right? I just got the... Um, the Jump the Force? Jump Force, and then now this came out, I'm like... Oh, it came out the... Jump Force it came, yeah, this came out on the Monday. Sec. This came out on the Monday. And then your Jump Force came out on the Friday, and I was back on the Sunday. So yeah. This is still isn't new to me. That's, that's the problem with the Jump Force, though. Like, I just want to play the versus mode, and you have to go through the story, and I'm just, like, slacking on the story right now. Because right, I'm like, right. oh, man, I don't want to, like, have to play as my character. Mm. I just want to play as, like, that's the only drawback of it. Right. You know what would suck if I found out that the online is only, the, the versus is only online? Maybe we should have done that research if we that's true or not. We should have done that research. <laughs> it's a cool game, though. It's a cool game. The loading time's, like, insanely long, though. So, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I like, I like these uh, online free games because it's like, it's more, uh, what do you call this? It's more like a, approachable. I think that to this people, is you know what I mean? yeah, like, this you, is... you can cast a wider. I think marketing wise that people should like, follow see, this. this I, I think they are. They are. They are. Now. I think they are learning this now because, yeah. it, it the point is to get, you know, you're getting all your, um. You're getting more players to play the game. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, more potential to also people, you know, to buy. To market to yeah, for sure, for sure. And yeah, exactly. Do Do you know what game started at all in terms of um, this battle kind of royale? No, 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 like or free. It's kind of like freeness. You know, like Pokemon's free. That's an awesome game. This is free. Fortnite's free. <clears throat> um, what else is free? There was a lot of free games, uh, but. I but nothing didn't to have the mine. scale. Like, didn't like, have like this looks like a purchase game. Yeah, like, I understand yeah, that, like, yeah. Fortnite's not a purchase game. It's, like, free. It's, like, yeah, okay, the graphics could be a little better, blah, blah, blah. But, like, when you look at this, it's, like, no, this took a lot of coding. Yeah, and a I, lot of texturizing. I think they used a lot of the same engines that they came from. But still, like... The Titanfall? Like, if this game was, like, $80, I'd be, like, it makes sense. I guess so, but... Because it looks like a Call of Duty, like... <laughs> this is, like, a Call of Duty killer. Okay. Halo killer. Because, yeah. like, the Call of Duty, when we played, we only played the Battle Royale. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's like, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think marketing is getting more ingenious over time. Yeah. Like, like these, these methods. Yeah. 
final thoughts on the game? Amazing. Amazing. What do you what do you rate it? Uh solid five out of five? Sure. Alright. I'll give it a five out of five too. <laughs> Only played a little bit, but it seems pretty it seems pretty sick. Actually, you know what? Do you I kinda like the evenness of the game because then like I mean like like Call of Duty games. That's the one drawback I feel of this game. Like it it's depends on your preference, like how you can't choose um you know, and like each one has a different power. Yeah. Like I, I like the even playing fieldness of of like those types mm-hmm. of games. No, oh, yeah. But that's just that's personal that's preference. Yeah, that's personal like, preference. It just depends on what level of strategy. I mean I I to, like, that's learn. why I liked Overwatch because everyone had a different ability. So it's a mix for me that I like that's why I like this. Is it is it kinda like rock, paper, scissors y where it's like one character beats out the other character or beats out the other character? No. You know what I mean? Like oh okay. I think they, they tried to level it. Okay, so there's not, as possible. there's not like a specific character where you're like, oh, this, this character is like destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, that's good. No. Yeah. I mean, that, that's an ongoing thing too, right? As you release it, you see how what's going on, and then they would change it in the back end. Right, right, right. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. All right. So. so there'll be more characters to come too, so. Oh, really? They're going to release more? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So not not just limited to these um, eight. Nope. Oh. Uh, did they do that for Overwatch too? Yep. Oh, okay, okay. So they're following the Overwatch model. So this is basically the strategy that they're using is like Fortnite could, meets Overwatch. Could be new maps as well. Overwatch is free, right? No. Oh, too bad. Okay, okay. Oh. They had their time in the sun. Now they're. Yeah, I remember you played that a lot. Yep. And I like now be. Now it's moving on to yeah. This is the latest one. Apex. Yeah. Legends. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Can you play it on your phone yet? No. No. Oh, so it's not like Fortnite. Wait, Fortnite took a while before that happened. The phone thing? Yes. Oh, okay. It wasn't that. like right away. I just played it for the first time this year, or 2018, like last last couple months ago, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, just just came out like last week. But still. Two weeks ago, maybe. Still. Just chill. All right, fine. Take it easy. But you, <laughs> you still got to learn the characters. Yeah, right, I feel you, I feel you. It's got to take time. It's sort of like how when Pokemon first came out, like, there was nothing to do. Yeah. And, and then now, you it's got like, now it's, like, insanely amazing. Yeah, you got on some, like, after so many seasons later. <laughs> yeah, true. True. Yeah. Where do these guys want to go? Okay. All right, so, uh, final topic. Uh, I find this pretty interesting, mm-hmm. but how perceptions change over time. Okay. With, so like there is no set story in. In one particular thing, I guess I guess what I'm trying to go at is like, about? all right, so like like tattoos, right? Oh. Okay. So. Before. Mm. Tattoos were seen as like a very, um, how do I put this? They were like, they were in different cultures before. Yeah. Right. They were like in Hawaiian culture. They were used for like. Mm-hmm. Like thousands of years, thousands of years, maybe yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, as like a, a means of like marking your distinction. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then like, and then in like the early American eras, it was like sailors were getting tattoos, and then there were pirates that were getting tattoos. Yeah. And like most recently, uh, they become like fashionable body art. You know. Yeah. I, I was reading this this book Bang Bang as I was waiting for my sister to get her tattoo. But okay. they had it there and like I was like, All right, well, this looks cool. He's like a celebrity tattooist and he, one of his insights was that tattooing has become very fashionable. Mm-hmm. So like supermodels are getting them. They're getting like small tattoos and then like everyone's into them now. But yeah. uh, I read this book, uh, The Tattooist of Auschwitz and when I was reading it I was like, because I remember when, when I was getting my first ones and then my mom was like, Oh, it's like like concentration camp. Being branded? Yeah, being branded or like, or like, oh, only people in jail have those, you know, like Mm -hmm. it's that mindset, which I find kind of interesting how like, how like this is how general society works. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think marketing is so like, even though you wouldn't call it marketing. Yeah, it is. It's still marketing. Okay. You know, like anything that plays with perception and like the narrative you tell yourself is Mm -hmm. like a marketing tactic. Right. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just find that. That interesting how like nothing can hold a specific place yeah. for too long you know right but then if you look at it that way like i was saying to you if like the like 
Hitler appropriated the swastika, which was actually a symbol of power in Asian countries. Mm -hmm. And then, like, now with the tattooing, it's like, oh, okay, it's it's associated with, you yeah. know, concentration camps. You know they tattoo meat? Oh, no. Like, pigs know. and stuff? Like, they'll, they'll, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Like, in the, um... When they're, when they're like, processing it, mm -hmm. they'll, like, they'll, like, tattoo the date or something. Right, right, right. Which, when you said, like, uh... What did you say? Like, branding? Branding, branding, yeah, yeah. Um, when you look at it that way, it's like, oh, they did see them as, like, pieces of meat. That's why they were just, like... Yeah. You know, branding them. But yeah, like, it, ma it makes you wonder, like, what would you consider, like, good or evil? Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's why, like, in Nietzsche's book, like, Beyond Good and Evil, he said that there's no such thing. But it's like, if you look at things like fashion, it's even evident in that. It's like, one day bell bottoms are cool, the next day they're not, and now they're taking a re resurgence. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. The folly of human mind. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you're thinking about getting one, definitely get one now. Now is the perfect opportunity because they're becoming, like, socially accepted. Sure. Yeah. Because you remember before, like, how they're like, oh, you can't get tattoos, especially if you're working, like, in a bank or whatever. Remember, mm -hmm. like, like yeah. early 2000s? That's why, you know, it's very unprofessional to have tattoos. Right, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, somebody yeah. at work had, like, full body art, like, full, like, wrist to back, and, like, was wearing, like, shirts to, like, show it off. I was like, wow, like, culture's definitely shifted, mm -hmm. you know, in progressive time. Sure. Yeah. But speaking of... Uh, Don't think I'll ever get one. No, of course. Yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. It depends but that's on the for a different thing. reason, though, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not because of the cultural acceptance. It's about, like, what well, would I even get? Or like, yeah, yeah, but it's uh, like we were talking about the the white power, the circle game, mm -hmm. how like memes get started because like essentially what what this is like what a thought virus is is a meme. Oh, okay. Right, like that. That yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is like oh, right, right, right. right? A, a meme is actually like people associate memes with those pictures, but if you actually look at what a meme is, mm -hmm. it's like an idea that spreads quickly. Yeah. Okay, and like, um, and then like. It's interesting how public perception, a good example of it being shifted, is like with those uh, circle game. When we yeah. were kids, we played the circle game, and then on 4chan, um, are you pulling up the definition of meme? All right, go for it. What no, 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 it just... Correct me. We all, no, 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 I just wanted to see what the original word was. Just go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I, yeah, I don't so... Think it's um, there. So, like, it, it's interesting with these thought viruses, and then they can be shifted over time. So, like, so, like, with the power of the internet now, with the 4chan, they took those pictures of people playing the circle game and then in that in that message where they're like, let's make people believe that this is the symbol for white power. Mm -hmm. And then like the if you watch the Tim Pool thing, the the yeah, he's, um, a, he's a cool guy. I was Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I think you you introduced me to Tim Pool. Mm. Not like in person, but like his work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um but but so like it's interesting that like they were like, Oh, let's troll everyone, make them think this is white power and then like the I forgot what it was called, like, the board. Some board was like, no, this is fake, but then journalists were like, no, it's real. Oh, uh, the human rights some organization? Something like I that? can't remember what it was, but, like, one of them was like, oh, this is not real. Uh -huh. It's just a, it's just an idea of virus, and then people, the reporters spread it. Oh. You know? Yeah. And then public perception changed. Like, you can't do the OK symbol in public now because it means white power. It's like, what? Yes. Okay. And then, and then the flat earth thing where it's like, that was another 4chan thing where they're like, oh, people are so dumb, let's make them believe that there's there's flat earth mm. and then now there's these flat earth societies all started from these message boards online but people don't know to like look back into it right right you right. know what I mean? it's just like it's just like the swastika thing it's like oh that's mm. a hitler symbol no it's not it's like it's an asian symbol for power or like oh tattooing it's like that's like negative those pirates had it, it was like no it's like it meant other things in different cultures right you know and I yeah, think, yeah. yeah that's what i find fascinating uh, yeah, I mean, that's the internet. That's my problem with the internet. Which, which I find really interesting now because, like, before there was no internet, you couldn't spread an idea so quickly, but mm. now you can spread, like, memes like wildfire, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, viral. But yeah, viral yeah, yeah market. exactly. Yeah. So, I guess, in some look at the origin of why you do things. Right. <laughs> Actually, yeah. it was in the samurai book that I read where it's like, it's like if you read. 
even if you read spiritual texts, if you don't question why, then you're liable to be a sheep. Okay. I like I I like it's not word for word, but that's what they were saying in it. Yeah. Yeah. It was like question everything. Mm. Cuz you never know. Like like how um how we found out that the the Romans believed that they were descended from uh the god, god of war. Yeah. And then Constantine who ruled over England, it wasn't called the England at the time, it was like York. And then it got converted to England, which got converted to Great Britain, which sent ships across the world. They went into North America, which became America, and then Canada. Mm-hmm. And then that's where we are today. Well, and that's America, why we have yeah. like we have cult, um, individualistic mindset because of the God of War mentality of conquer, conquer, conquer. Right. So it's like if you look at it in terms of that, it's like it just makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. All right. Final thought. We're, we're so caught up in like looking at our our moment our momentary uh, situation that right. if we expanded it towards like a timeline view yeah like a okay you know like if, if you sped up time it, it would it would all make more sense than this, yeah to like, see the trail of right you know what I mean the migration of thought I guess yeah and people and people yeah whereas we think like we think this moment in history is the most important well it is because it's it's our moment yeah but the way we feel about this moment is how somebody felt back in the roman period you know mm-hmm. you'll never know where yeah true be cautious <laughs> okay all right um so next week we will hit up probably there's no movies coming out right not next week it's the week after Yes, and then we'll do a review for that one. We were going to do a review of Battle Angel, but Vish fell asleep. I tried to fall no, asleep. No, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. My sister fell asleep three times. I don't even know what happened in that movie. I don't. I, I stayed awake, and I don't even know what happened in that movie. It was so, like, it was so confusing. I was like, okay, why are you going back and forth? Like, okay. the, the graphics were really good, but the acting was really poor. But shout out to you guys who were acting because, you know, it's a hard field to make it in. Yeah, I mean, so, sometimes it doesn't work out. It's just how it is. Yeah. But yeah, look forward to uh, another weekly roundup next week. Till next time. Glad to have you back in Canada, Vish. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. Yeah.